Good morning and welcome back. Proper vlog today because we are finally doing something else. And today I'm doing a bit of a multi drop, even though it's not quite multi drop because I've only got uh, four deliveries and uh, one collection. Um, I used to do proper multi drop in the past, anywhere from eight to 12 uh, deliveries and a couple of collections. So I wouldn't necessarily call this proper, proper multi-drop, but it is something else, something that I haven't done in the in the channel for a long time. So it's probably going to be an interesting day. As you know, in the last couple of years, I've only done long distance and um, yeah, time for something else. So let's get into it, uh, heading to our first delivery and see where we're going to get stuck. <laughs> Let me show you real quick how they uh, have this uh, this paperwork. Uh, it's really easy for you to see uh, if you have multiple drops. It's uh, it's easier to see which one is which on a trailer. So on the first store, I've only had uh, this um, uh, these deliveries with uh, with the red. Uh, so I know I I only had to open one side, and on the on the second store. I have this bit right here on on front, with, which makes it really easy. Uh, what I used to do in uh, in the past when I was doing proper multi drop, I used to uh, open up the trailer and uh, just write down on my manifest where is everything, like an either side front or rear side back or whatever. Just makes it easier when you're gonna get to your deliveries. You know exactly where everything is. If you're gonna move them around, just note it down so you won't. Uh, you, you you will keep track of everything. Saves you time in um, trying to find everything, and just uh, makes your life uh, a bit more easier. But I've never seen someone. I've never seen a company having these uh, these drawings, um, like right from the start. It's it's really nice much much quicker that way are you sure go mate thanks a lot but anyway cheers well, first delivery done I was a bit early they uh, haven't they haven't opened the shop yet but we are done and heading to our second one which is only about half an hour away it's always that that kind of feeling when you're when you're going some uh, somewhere new the first time you are a bit obviously a bit I wouldn't say necessarily stressed but uh, you're a bit more careful definitely Usually in this kind of industrial estates, they, they are, there is an easy way in and an easy way out. And it should be right there. Already seen it, I'm gonna turn off the camera and catch you on the way out. Now that is an unusual parking position. I thought he jackknife. That's that's his spot. That's how he parked. <laughs> well, if yesterday we had three deliveries and one collection in Stoke and surrounding areas, today we have three deliveries and no shut up. Three deliveries and no collection in Peterborough area just a tiny bit too late for the truck fest so it is what it is yeah very boring this morning um, started as usual five o'clock now we have a 40 mile an hour speed limit which I will kindly do with 45 if you don't mind because by the looks of it all the guys in front of me 
are not doing 40 miles an hour and they are now gone so yeah pretty boring probably i've stopped i've stopped i've probably i've stopped filming yesterday i don't know when but it was getting really really boring uh, nothing interesting you know um all the deliveries were spot on uh, and that's probably one of the things i like working for companies like this because i'm not delivering in places like um, what i used to do uh, uh, store deliveries like uh, groceries and whatever BN, BNM and stuff like that because uh, usually these guys have their shops in uh, sort of like industrial estates uh, obviously it's um, it's one of those shops where you can find the DIY tools plumbing stuff and stuff like that so it's pretty pretty easy accessible no problems whatsoever um, also, it's uh, pretty pretty good to, to, to do some exercise, you know, because um, let's face it, this job sometimes it can be just so boring, just staying behind the wheel and driving for hours and hours and hours, not doing anything. And by the time you realize, oops, I should probably um, do some exercise. I think the speed limit now is gone. I haven't seen the sign, but sad nerve sets also. Yeah, uh, by the time you realize that, that you probably have to do some exercise as well um, you're gonna be either I don't know end up with some kind of problems just like uh, my dear friend of mine uh, has been driving trucks for 30 years now has uh, has back problems and nerve problems and muscle tendons problems because of too much sitting behind the wheel and yeah definitely not bad to do some exercise while once in a while uh, open the curtains and do something do something because I know a lot of you guys have told me wow what a great job you have doing those Scotland runs but I'll tell you in the, in the long run if you're not careful of doing some exercise or whatever it can come back and bite you in the ass definitely so um, the only thing is today it's bloody raining I don't know how come it's raining here we've got uh, almost 40 miles to we reach uh, our first drop but in Liverpool it hasn't rained for three bloody weeks three weeks and it's not gonna rain in the, the next 10 days either but today is raining and of course I've got a I've got a curtain cider I'm sure I'm gonna get a bit wet but I mean I haven't seen the rain like I've said for the last three weeks so I don't mind it's not like like it's not pouring or whatever it's just like dripping but still still the joys of um, of working on a curtain cider the joys the joys anyway we are on a 17 and bloody hell we had uh, one million roundabouts till now I've um, I've come from uh, from Liverpool area from Warrington and I said you know what I'm not gonna take the 62 to go through Leeds because by the time I'm gonna get to Leeds the traffic will be crazy and I said I'm gonna come down the A50 and uh, traffic was okay but bloody hell, just roundabout after roundabout after roundabout after A road after A road after roundabout after roundabout. I mean, uh, I prefer motorways. I know many millions of you are wondering why on earth I'm driving for a different company. Why have I changed jobs? And all I can say is this. If you're leaving your company and you're thinking about going back just remember why you left in the first place because just learn from my mistakes okay so don't do like I do <laughs> and um, yeah I left from for the same reasons I've left in the first place in back in December don't want to get into the details there's no point 
But if you want to go back to a former company, just remember, remember, try to remember why did you leave in the first place last time. Because it's never a good idea to, to go back at a, at a place where you weren't happy in the first place. But that's all I'm going to say. Um, so back doing some agency work at the moment. Don't know for how long. I don't know. I've got no idea. I just find out, find out one day after another. Don't want to get into, into too much, too many details for now. Uh, probably you've seen one of my uh, videos. Uh, I think last weekend I posted it on. Uh, on YouTube and uh, after a few hours I got a phone call to take it down I've been asked if I can take it down for now because the subject was a bit too hot for some people which I did you will see it again but just uh, just not right now also I've said it many 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 times not a good idea to be paid per shift okay i've said it many times but i never listen i never listen and i'm telling it to you <laughs> so i don't know what the hell i'm doing but the thing is getting paid per shift sucks okay it, it, it might sound as a good idea uh, it might sound tempting because uh, you're always gonna say you know what i'm gonna do this run in eight hours nine hours no you're not the companies who are paying per shift they know something they know your average not your daily it can be exceptions of course when you're gonna finish early but looking it on on the long run weekly basis or monthly basis or whatever you're doing shit loads of hours and the companies who are paying you per shift they know this okay so as I've said I'm gonna say it again getting paid per shift is not a good idea yeah. especially on the work that we are doing with all the traffic with all the things that can happen deliveries can take anywhere from half an hour to two hours okay it's, it's, it's I, I, I don't need the stress anymore or just thinking about constantly thinking about how can, how can I end this shift early as as soon as possible because it, it, it just builds up stress a couple of miles ago I've seen a sign pointing to the uh, towards the air museum I was just thinking how funny it would have been to have an actual air museum like proper air not not things flying through the air no like air museum and you will have like jars or stuff like that and you you, you could actually see uh, the first jar from 1926 when the museum uh, just uh, opened you would have jars from the 1950s jars from the 1980s with that cool fresh looking air of course it would be just air but I mean do you know do you know what I mean random thought oh my god I shouldn't put this in the vlog farm after farm after roundabout after roundabout after farm after a road a lot of farming and all the all the truck drivers seem to have their uh, their name on the on the windscreen definitely feel like an intruder they don't have anything kind of sad we've just seen Marek there I've seen John limpy sticky hang on someone else coming no this one doesn't have this one is a oh there you go Titch Titch say hi Titch it's like a thing around here I don't think I've ever been to uh, to Peterborough. Maybe once or twice. A A Ron, say hello to A A Ron. This one only had paperwork. 
and this one doesn't care he's a tipper driver trying to get the uh, the driving time here on the dash when I click on it, it says Tahograph busy like say of course it's busy it's recording stuff but I want to see it on the dash you can't Tahograph busy what kind of answer is that Oh man, already three and a half hours. Only freaking A road and roundabouts on board. Just seen Waggy with the blue daff. What the hell am I doing now? Shout out. Bloody hell. Tractor ahead. Wonderful. 30 miles an hour. Let's go. Bloody tractors. Three hours and 45 minutes for about 250 kilometers. Just, I don't know, it just feels like you're not making any progress driving in these uh, A roads and 1 million and 200,000 roundabouts. Right, just stopped for my break right here because I was running out of working time and driving time as well. so a break this area without reception but let me give you a tip if you're waiting somewhere you think you don't have reception or you're just showing like that e icon for internet or whatever just plug your charger in doesn't have to be powered but uh, the charger I mean the wire acts as an antenna and you can get around all right 30 minutes to our next one and uh, I wanted to talk to you about something else um, and uh, that is human interaction sometimes human interaction can be really nice and I kind of missed it don't be wrong I won't consider myself a people's person but sometimes it's good to have interaction especially when you're meeting someone which is nice and chatty and friendly like I had right here in this uh, in this delivery place you know it's, it's nice to interact with, with people that's one thing I, I like about these jobs you're always somewhere you're always I don't know cracking a joke with somebody or whatever because driving long distances can be really really boring and I don't want to spend time on my phone with the friends you know I really don't like that I just like to talk if it's something to talk about yeah we'll chat about it but I don't know I know some some people are hanging around on their phones for hours and hours and hours I don't like that and I don't like whatsapp groups either <laughs> all right here we go to our last delivery of the day everything seems to take forever today i don't know what's going on first delivery i think took an hour and a half this one the same huh, not sure about this one the next one but freaking long day almost two o'clock already today uh what's that uh six seven eight almost nine hours into my shift already wow wow freaking hell i still have to go back another three hours plus another break hmm hmm let me show you my load real quick this is how it looks like you can see it's a double decker it's a small one, only 14.6, I believe this one. Only at the back. And uh, I'm carrying basically crates, which are really easy. Really easy to strap down, really easy for them to take them off. And not too heavy. Tag axle never comes down. And uh, yeah, makes things pretty easy. Pretty easy. Easy job. Nothing, nothing too complicated. So no collections today. No, nothing. That's it that's what I'm gonna be doing probably this week hoping I don't know about the next one 
But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for, for sticking around. I'll see you next time. Bye.